Good morning, everyone. And I would like to welcome you all to our liturgy of today, when we shall be celebrating the third Sunday in the season of Lent. We have already made a journey since we started from Ash Wednesday. And from each of the previous Sunday, we have had a message from the Word of God that nourished us and helps us in a way to redirect our thoughts and actions during this uh, season of Lent. And today in particular, we shall again hear from the gospel, emphasized the attitude of repentance. Jesus calls us to repent, to turn away from our past ways and to embrace a new way of life that he presents to us uh, in this uh, word of God of today. And he compares our generation to the generation of the people during the time of Pilate, those Galileans who were murdered. He asks us, do you think we were better off than them? Indeed, no. So the message of repentance that he calls upon for us is one that must change our hearts because he also is quite expresses it in a way that is vivid and clear, maybe even perhaps scary, because he says that if we do not repent, then we are going to perish in the same way like those Galileans or like the people for whom the Tower of Siloam collapsed on. So, and then in the second part of the gospel, towards the theme of this season of Lent of repentance still, Jesus in dialogue with the comparison of this uh, short parable of a, fru a, 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 of a garden that does not yield fruit has to be given good care of. And the one taking care of the garden pleads with Jesus to say, Master, leave it one more year and then I'll dig around it. I'll put manure to make it bear the fruit that you desire. And so this season of Lent for us, dear brothers and sisters, is a time that prepares us for that time of yielding fruit in case we have not been able to realize anything. This is the time for us to dig around our lives, to put the necessary tools, the necessary manure, to embrace those attitudes that help us really to bear the fruit that God desires of us. And all this comes about, of course, when we choose to change from our old ways and embrace a new way of life. So actually the journey that we are called upon to make in this third Sunday is a journey of total conversion. It's a journey of embracing a new life. It's a journey of letting ourselves not again be those dry trees, those uh, that are not able to yield anything, but to be trees that begin to grow, begin to sprout. We must do this without having any fear or any compromise upon those attitudes that do not help us to yield fruit. So may the Lord help us to transform. And now I invite you all to join us in the celebration of the Eucharist. May the Lord touch you. May he show you what you need to do with your life as we enter into the celebration of the Eucharist. Thank you so much and may God bless you.